construct a truth table for this statement. Not R and, and then in parentheses, Q implies not P. Again, this one can look complicated when you first see it, but if you break it down, you notice we have three simple statements, P, Q, and R, and then we're applying the negation in some cases, we're applying and, and we're applying the conditional statement. So the conditional part is the part that's new to this section. But again, since we have three simple statements, we need to include eight rows in our table to account for all the possible combinations of true and false. Those are given to us though. And now, to build up to this final statement, we notice that we the negations we have are not P and not R. So we have columns for not P and not R. Then we need a column for Q implies not P, what's in parentheses. And then our final column will combine the not R column with the implication column using the AND operator. So all we have to do is go through and do one operation at a time for each of these columns. For the not P column, we look at P and negate each of these, replacing each true with false and each false with true. So that looks something like this. Then for Q implies not P, we have to remember the rule for the implication. Again, it's only going to be false if Q is true and not P is false. So we look through that and see when does that happen. It happens in the first row, so it's false there. But then the second row, it doesn't happen, so it's true, true, true. Then we have another Q is true, not P is false. So in that case, the implication is false again, but the other three are all true. So it's only false when the condition is true and the implication is false. Then for the not R column, we look at R and replace each true with false and each false with true. So we'll have four falses and then four trues. Lastly, to get our final statement, we'll combine not R with Q implies not P, and we'll use the AND operator. So remember, AND is true when both of the pieces are true. If at least one of them is false, it's going to be false. So in the first case, it'll be false, and then false, 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 and then again false, but the last three are true because both pieces are true in those last three rows. So there's the truth table for that final compound statement. It's only true in the last three cases. When P is true and Q and R are both false, when P is false, Q is true and R is false, or when all three are false.